Friday, the French foreign minister will arrive in Bamako. With Mali's new president, they will probably talk about co-development and the French ANAEM initiative. Co-development is the participation of migrant workers in the development of their countries. Concretely, the ANAEM supports migrant workers who return here voluntarily. The organization finances a project feasibility study that the returnees will try setting up in their home countries. On top of this initial help for workers willing to come back, the French ANAEM provides a subsidy of 7,000 euros to those whose project is deemed credible by the agency. Among the lucky ones is Karunga Seita, who collected garbage for the city of Paris. Today Keita is the boss of a cleaning enterprise of his own in Bamako, a city no stranger to garbage. I was in France without working papers, and I accepted the 200 euros offered to me to come back to Mali. Once the ANAEM accepted my project, I came back. My company collects garbage. When I returned, I noticed the streets of my neighborhood were dirtier. So I took up what I left behind in France and bought a truck. Now I have 80 customers and employ four people. If the French government, in its effort to compensate tougher immigration policies, estimates the program could prompt 150 people to return to their country each year. But a certain number of strong-voiced activists think this number is too low. First of all, I still don't know what co-development means. Immigration issues always seem to dominate, and cooperation tends to disappear. And what we knew as cooperation is only being rephrased as co-development. But in Mali, whatever can help and restore some much-needed hope tends to be appreciated.